Hello guys, what up? This is Dr. Olive Alex and today's tutorial is how to create the real letterbox sizing in Vegas Pro 16. Now, I don't want to explain why you want to use this size. So if you want to know why you should use it, you can go to my Facebook page and I have write some uh, short information why to use the real letterbox sizing and what's the pros of using real letterbox sizings. So those um, film that you watch on cinema that have black bars top and the bottom of the video they don't put a black bar image on top of the clip nope it's actually they just render out the video as it is which is 21 to 9 x bat ratios the clip that you're seeing right now on the timeline here both of this clip is 16 by 9 so your phones televisions your laptop screen is normally 16 by 9 x bat ratios but those film that you watch on cinema was rendered out or was shot on 21 to 9 x bat ratios so basically the video is white so the top and the bottom is basically empty so whenever you play 21 to 9 uh, x bat ratios on those 16 by 9 clip i mean uh, sorry on screen you will see those black bars appear basically it's an organic original black bar so how you can do that in Vegas Pro, pretty simple, but um, here I have two clips. So I just want to explain what's the difference of these two clips. The first clip here was shot in full HD. So the expert, uh, I mean the size will be 1920 uh, to 1080. Uh, the second clip here was shot in 4K, which is the size will be 3840 uh, and 2160 if I'm not mistaken. Let me check it. Yep. So. Both have different numbers, means your uh, sizing will also be different, but your timeline also need to be changed as well. So, first of all, uh, you want to go to your project properties. Now, I want to export this video in full HD in 21 to 9 expert ratio. So, I already created a template actually. So basically what I change here is just the width and the height size. So the width will be 1920 and the height will be 810 instead of 1080. So basically with 810, you're removing the extra top and the bottom of the clip. So your video will be rendered out in these sizes. So whenever you upload on YouTube or playback on televisions, those black bar will appear organically. All right, so I'm gonna press apply. And there you go. But as you can see, we have pillar box here. So how you can fill this pillar box with this video. So you want to go to your video and press pan and crop. Now, like I said earlier, this is full HD. So the height is 1080. So basically you want to make sure to disable lock expert ratios and size about uh, center for a while, just temporarily. And then you want to change the height value to 810 exactly the same as your project properties press enter and there you go your video is now fulfilled the entire preview uh, so let's go to the second clip here now this is 4k clip as you can see the height is 2160 so there will be a math uh, involved a bit but it's okay i already calculated for you guys so let's say you are recording in 4K and you want to export your video into full HD. The height number will be 1610. So this is the number for your 4K clip. Now if your timeline was actual 4K size, which is the width will be 3840. So the height also the same, which is 1610. That's it that's how you do it so once you're done changing the um, the size of the clip into 21 to 9 expert ratios you can export it so I'm just gonna render it real quick and I also uh, create a template with it so basically you want to press customize template and on the on the frame size you want to select custom frame size and again if you are exporting to full HD, your width will be 1920 and your height will be 810. And same goes to 4K, just change the height values. The width remains the same. 
So I hope this tutorial will help you guys out there. And if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section. So hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time.